സായി കീർത്തന ഫൈനലി ലിറ്ററേച്ചർ സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റ് സീക്രട്ട് ഹാർട്ട് കോളേജ് ചാലക്കുടി ടുഡേ ആസ് എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് അവർ ഹിസ്റ്ററി ഓപ്പൺ കോഴ്സ് പ്രൊജക്റ്റ് ഐ എം ഹിയർ ടു കണ്ടൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ടു എ വെരി ഫേമസ് ആൻഡ് ലാർജസ്റ്റ് ആർക്കിയോളജിക്കൽ മ്യൂസിയം ആൻഡ് എ പാലസ് ഇൻ ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് വിച്ച് വാസ് ഓൺഡ് ബൈ ദ കൊച്ചിൻ റോയൽ ഫാമിലി പോപ്പുലർലി നോൺ ആസ് ഹിൽ പാലസ് The palace has been converted into a museum by the Kerala State Government Archaeological Department. Hill Palace was built in 1865 by the Maharaja of Cochin using his personal wealth. The palace was handed over to the government of Kerala by the Cochin royal family in 1980. Hill Palace is the largest archaeological museum in the state and was imperial administrative office and official residence of Cochin Maharaja. Built in 1865, the palace complex consists of 49 buildings in the traditional architectural style spreading across 54 acres. The complex has an archaeological museum, a heritage museum, a deer park a prehistoric park and a children's park the campus of museum is home to several rare species of medical plants the center of heritage studies an autonomous research and training institute set up by the department of cultural affairs government of kerala also functions at the site CHS is designated as the Manuscript Convention Center and Manuscript Resource Center by the National Mission of Manuscripts. Hill Palace Museum was the official residence of the Cochin rulers in 17th century. Today, it is famous as full-fledged Ento Archaeological Museum and as Kerala's first ever heritage museum. The Hill Palace Museum also has a gallery housing contemporary art. The Department of Archaeology acquired this property in 1981 and renovated and converted it in an archaeological museum in 1984 the museum then opened to the public in may 1986 the royal throne in all its east wild splendor can be seen in the cabinet hall and it is the main attraction to the people and highly preserved by the archaeological department The northern block of the main complex designed by the European engineers was completed in 1898 during the regime of Maharaja Ramavarma. The cabinet and the adjoining structure in the central block were also constructed by Ramavarma. The unique lift imported from England installed in the cabinet hall the Victorian tiles with the floral designs on the outer walls of the cabinet hall. and its metallic ornamental ceiling envisages the extravagance of craftsmanship the glazed italian marble tiles paved in the corridors and the ceramic tiles on the royal bedroom grab the attention of the visitors the prestigious crown of the cochin rulers consists of 69 emeralds 95 diamonds 244 rubies set in gold the crown was gifted by the dutch to the king of cochin Kanagakunnu Palace later known as Hill Palace was the royal seat to the erstwhile Cochin rulers is situated on the hill of east of Tripunithara This royal mansion was the official residence of Cochin rulers since 1855 The historical evidence suggests that the oldest building in this palace complex was built by Ravi Varma who ruled between 1853 and 1864 There are many conclusions behind the name Cochin. The Malayalam word Kochu Ari meaning small lagoon later became Kochi. This is the picture of old Cochin Harbour. The palaces situated in Cochin state. 
The portraits of East Wild Cochin rulers are displayed in genealogical order in the gallery of paintings. The portraits have readily captured the elegance and the preciousness of royal regalia. Some Tanjore paintings too are on display. The judicious use of color in those paintings made them worthy of presenting and exhibiting for generations. There is also a gallery displaying the contemporary art and it showcases paintings of Raja Ravi Varma among others. These are the pictures of Shaktan Tamburan Palace and Vadakunnada Temple, Bellarapalli Kovilagam, one of the palaces in Chovara, the mosques and synagogues in Kochi, famous schools and colleges, the Bolgati Palace in Kochi and the Old Harbour in Kochi. These are the visuals which is displayed by the authorities to the people which will help the people to know more about the palace and cover more area within time. Putan Maliga was the final major addition to the palace Maligas. It was prominently inspired from the British colonial architect and incorporated additional bedroom for the extant royal family. They also displayed the visuals of old ancient palaces in Kerala, which will help the people to know more about the tradition and the culture followed by the ancient people. These are the miniatures of Mogambika Temple, Padakum Nadu Temple, Shabari Mala, Paramekavu Temple, etc. Each part of the palace complex holds the brilliance of the indigenous Kerala architectural style tinged with a suitable western influence. Since the colonial invasions, Kochi has never wielded enough power to rule single-handedly. The colonial powers which arrived one after the other kept Kochi under their control. Though there were problems and crises in the collaborative administrations, the colonial alliances played a major part in overall growth and development of the state of Kochi. The rulers of Kochi rarely challenged the colonial supremacy and this alliance proved helped in the modernization of the state. During the Dutch occupied the Kochi, they made several changes in the city. The modern Kochi was Dutch colony till independence. And the modern Kochi never became a part of British colony. Kochi has a diverse multi-culture and a secular community consists of Hindu, Christian, Muslim, Jains, 
Sikkim, Konkins and Buddhist among other denominations. Today, the population of the city is a mix of people from all parts of the Kerala, most of India. And Kochi also have its own culture and cultural activities. The huge ground sprawls an area of about 65 acres. The Kerala style of architecture is prevalent in all the 50 buildings which make up the palace complex. Exhibits from countries like China and Japan reflecting their art and poetry are also on display. The National Mission for Manuscripts has got a center for heritage studies set up in the complex for research on manuscripts and their content. The park for children on the same ground is open till about 6 pm. The scenic location is also utilized by many filmmakers for movie shooting purposes. With Manchitratale being the most famous movie that was shot at this location.